Hey, buddies. Sonot Sky here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we are going to teach you guys how to get the Sentient Scythe, Sentient Great Axe, and the Sentient Great Bow. This has been one of the most requested videos, and I know it's taken me some time to get to it. So, uh, so hopefully this is still going to prove useful for you, a lot of you guys. I imagine it probably will. So, we're in the Lost Cities. Yep, you're going to need to go to the Lost Cities. This is all Lost City-based stuff. And let's have a really quick look at the recipes. The recipes are a little bit complex at first, but once you get your head around it, they're quite easy to understand. So, Sentient Scythe. Basically, for the Sentient uh, weapons, you're going to need to create the living version. So, there's a living Great Bow, a living Great Axe, and a living Scythe. To upgrade to the sentient versions of each, it's essentially going to be the same recipe. Four undead soul stones and four yellow eye bones. So upgrading to the sentient version of each from the living version of each uh, is the same recipe. Now the recipes for the actual living elements are uh, quite similar to each other, just slightly different. So you've got the living scythe handle, handle, head, uh, back, blade, and core for the scythe. Very similar for the Great Axe, except you have two blades instead of one head. And for the Great Bow, it's named different stuff, but it's going to be a very similar recipe. So each one of these components is made up by a bunch of different uh, mob parts that you can find in, or that you can loot from, uh, killed parasites in the Lost Cities. So just as a quick example, the Living Great Bow Grip is two infected flesh, some leather and sticks, and Reeker fangs. As another example, the scythe head is going to be long arm armor fragments and reeker fangs, as well as some infected flesh. The long arm armor fragments are going to be the things that you need the most of. The reeker fangs are the second most. I think yellow eye bones you'll need a lot of as well. So we're going to show you how to get those various elements. To break it down for you, the living, uh, the sorry, the living scythe is going to require ten long armor long arm armor fragments, three reeker fangs, one summoner's core, 11 inflected flesh, seven sticks and four leather. The great bow is going to be six long arm armor fragments, three yellow eye eye bones, two reeker fangs, 11 infected flesh, six leather and string. So not too many of each. Um, and then you're going to have an additional four yellow eye bones for each one to get to the sentient side. Now these items, apart from the putrid and the infected flesh, sorry, are all dropped from the adapted versions of parasites, i.e. the strongest, most powerful, and rarest versions. So you've got a lot of farming ahead of you. Infected flesh, uh, which you'll need a fair bit of, um, is just dropped from pretty much all the mobs. So and any of the weak guys, pick up, pick up infected flesh um, as you go, and you should have plenty of it by the time you get all this other stuff. So how do we get these other things? Well, we're going to need to find adapted versions. So we can either go out into the wild. I think that's an adapted Reeker as an example. So home skillet here is an adapt. Is this an adapted Reeker? Yeah, so that's an adapted Reeker. Um, that, that's a regular Mandicator, but there is an adapted version of the Mandicator. That's a regular long arms, a primitive long arms. And then this is a adapted long arms. So as you can see, the adapted versions are just bigger, better, stronger, and more rare versions of the other ones. I think we have an adapted yellow eye around here somewhere, kind of giving spoilers in that little zone. Uh, but we'll get to that in just a moment anyway. So we're going to show you what the ones you're looking for look like. You've got your adapted yellow eye. So these ones you're going to need a lot of because they drop the yellow eye bone that you need. This is the adapted manducator. Uh, this is for the Great Axe, so if you don't care about making the Great Axe, you'd rather the scythe than the bow, you don't need to worry about them. This is the Summoner, so these are the ones that you do want to worry about uh, if you're getting the scythe, because I believe it's the scythe that requires the Summoner Core. You've got the Adapted Reekers, which I just showed you down there, that's this guy. Uh, you're going to need to find quite a few of these, because they uh, you need quite a few of their fangs. And then these guys you're going to need to find the most of. These guys are the uh, long arm. And you need quite a few long arm armor fragments, uh, 10 for the scythe, 6 for the bow, uh, as an example. So these are the guys that you're going to need to find. And let's just see if we spawn a bunch of these guys here. Should be able to pick out a few quick ones when they fly away. Let's see. So you do, I do have advanced looting 3. 
Uh, here we go. So we got a yellow eye bone there. So the drop chance, the drop chance isn't very high either. You know, we killed, we killed several there, and uh, we've still only gotten one bone. And we do have, we do have advanced looting three, correct? Advanced looting three. Yeah. It was the first enchant we put on there. Uh, so again, just amongst all of those ones we just killed, we only got one yellow bone fragment. So this is going to take a while. It is, I mean, it's quite a grind. It is like the best weapon in the game, so understandable. It takes a bit of a grind. Uh, we've got another yellow eye bone there. Cool. So you can kind of get a feel on uh, on how long it's going to take you to get your yellow eye bones. You're going to need quite a few of those, four for each weapon as a minimum, and I think you need uh, three additional for the bow. So you need seven for the bow and four for the scythe. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, we got two there, so we're kind of good to go on that front. Um, your long arms. I feel like they, uh, the long arms, I think, have a, a better drop rate because you're going to need loads of these. So hopefully they do have a better drop rate. I feel like you find them quite quite quickly. Uh, well, someone want to drop me an armor fragment here, buddy? Just trying to give you guys a good feel for how long, how many of these you might need to find uh, to make sure you get all of the pieces that you require. There we go. So we got one. We got how many? We got a, we got several. I already had one here, so we just got four from those guys. So much, definitely a better drop rate, or should be a better drop rate uh, than the than the yellow eye bones. Or maybe it's the same. Who knows? But uh, but you need more of them. So you need to find more of those guys anyway. Uh, and then we've got the, the Reeker fangs. These again, I don't know if the drop rates are the same. Uh, but I feel like I find these quite commonly as well. They got a few of these buddies. And, uh, yeah, there's one Reeker Fang there. So I guess probably... I, I, all of these things probably have very similar drop rates. Now, we've just had a little bit of a spoiler. Again, this this dude's popped up. This little home skillet. And this is going to lead me to the next part of this video. So you can go out and find all these out in the wild, just like I showed you over there. They are out there. You can just fly around and do that. If you want to not have to roam around so much, You'd rather, you know, farm in a specific location, you can utilize these. These are called beckons. Beckons have four different stages, um, and they level up slowly into each stage, and each stage does something different. Now, a, a level one beckon has a chance to spawn any time you kill a parasite, with a very small chance, uh, from any residue. So this is residue. Any of this you see on the ground, it has a chance to spawn these at any given time, it's probably like based on ticks or like a chance per tick or something. I don't know exactly. Or uh, they can be spawned from uh, these blocks, these corrupted blocks. I can't remember what they're called, uh, but they these blocks can have a chance of spawning these guys as well. And these blocks are only spawned by these guys. So as these guys grow and get bigger, they spawn more and more of this green infested stuff. And as you can see, I uh, when I was doing testing, I had a bunch of these guys l fully leveled up down here. I'm not sure why they despawned. I've actually just confirmed that name tagging beckons doesn't actually work. Uh, I had a bunch here. I had them name tagged. They had despawned, but I thought I had accidentally used a command that killed them at some point or another because it was a while ago that I did that testing. Um, but the ones that I had name tagged for the video that I'm recording just now actually have despawned. So. If you want to come here and farm them this way, you want to do it all in one go. It's probably going to take you an hour or so. It takes 20 to 30 minutes for them to get up to a stage four um, at least. And it also takes a little while for them to spawn all the things that you need to kill. So it's going to be a long farm all in one go really is what you're going to want to do. Uh, however, if you ever do need to restart that farm for whatever reason, beckons have a chance to spawn from all this green corrupted blocks and from the residue. So at least this area is now good at spawning beckons because these ones just spawned in really quickly, uh, but they do take some time to get up to stage four. So you will uh, you will need to work towards that and probably get it all done in one go if you're going to use this method. Level one just spawns the smallest stuff. Looks like this, and it spawns the smallest stuff. These guys, not not too big of a deal. Uh, the level two spawns stuff that's slightly bigger. Level three spawns stuff that's slightly bigger. Each each level up spreads this stuff out further and further. Now it's the level four that you need. The level four beckon, which looks, it's massive. I'll show, I'll, uh, I'll show a picture because I don't have any leveled up right here and they do take a while to level up, so I'm not going to get any for the video today. Um, but I will make sure I put a picture on screen right now for you guys so that you get a chance to what, see what the level four one looks like. The level four one no longer spawns creatures. It only 
spawns level one beckons. So it's going to then, you know, exponentially increase the amount of beckons that are in the area. And will convert primitive mobs. Is this a primitive guy? Uh, this is a warden. So it, will, it would convert, say, if I had a regular long arms, it would convert them into a adapted long arms, along with a lightning strike. So stage four beckons will convert un primitive versions into the adapted versions, bearing in mind that you're looking for the adapted versions by striking them with lightning. So basically, you need to get one of these to level four. It does take some time, and you're going to need to you know fight around it while it's you know st still growing. But once it gets to level four, it'll be lightning striking un unadapted mobs, turning them into adapted mobs. Then you can then farm them for their parts. So you either stationary beckon farm, which is probably fairly risky and you can get swarmed, but you know late game you'll probably be able to manage. It's also very fun because just stuff's going down constantly. Or you can run out into the wild and look for them in the wild like that yellow eye was chilling out there. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get the sentient scythe, the sentient great axe, and the sentient great bow. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I go live on my Twitch channel pretty much every day except Monday and Friday I take for editing days usually. I also run an Craft 2.9 SMP server that you guys would be welcome to join. We run that from the Twitch channel. That is twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy. If you want to join the server, you got to jump on the Twitch channel, earn 3,000 channel points, unlock the whitelist through the channel point redemption, and then you'll be able to join us on the server. Alrighty guys, hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.